one day's worth of pollen. So I told my sister I wasn't going to need a card, but I need a card. So this is what I got. I got a table. Gotta put that together very quick. Very inexpensive. The tabletop alone was only $8.99. And the legs were four something each. I got my daughter these raspberry cookies because she likes raspberry cookies. I'm gonna send those to her in her little Easter basket. I got this little carpet for my bathroom. A comforter. I don't know if you can see, it's a wok. I love this. It was $9.99. Um, that's gonna be like my little studio. Oh, say hi to Rosie. Say hi, Rosie. And these jeans hanging up here, guys. These jeans are a size 12, and I am back in them. They're skin tight, but I am in them. I hang them there for inspiration because I wanna get into them comfortably, not skin tight. And I'm gonna do it. So I opened my comforter and I love it, but it has some stains, you see that? And it was wrapped up in plastic, and then here, so I'm gonna have to take it back and get another one, but it's so pretty. It's comfy, it's kind of thick. It was 20 bucks. It's um like a down, but it's synthetic. It's not a real down. Hi guys, so I figured I'd jump in here and narrate the rest because there's a lot going on. And um, it's not long, but there's a lot going on. The pandemic happened and everybody was going crazy. I was one of those people that waited until the last minute. All the toilet paper was gone. I think I found some at Family Dollar. But I did manage to find food pretty easily. Okay, don't let people scare you and tell you there's no food. There's plenty of food. Some soup, some coffee, some barbecue sauce, bagels. I'm gonna freeze these in my tea bags. Then we have our pasta, meats. I got some Bubba's, Bubba's Burgers, the last pack. Some pizzas, mozzarella sticks, chicken winglets, legs, nuggets, hot dogs, eggs, blah, 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 and yum. Never had this, but figured I might as well try it. The corn. So we're good. I got notification that we'd be working from home, so I decided to treat myself. I was gonna do a mukbang, but um, I'm not. I'm just gonna eat my food. This is delicious. This is steak, chicken, and shrimp. Oh my God, I'm gonna enjoy this so much. I loved it. Oh, I loved working from home. I didn't wanna go back. I really didn't wanna go back. I don't even wanna be there now, but what are you gonna do? I got GERD, all that late night eating, all that junk caught up with me and I got GERD, not fun. I actually thought I was dying. I thought something was wrong with my heart. I started thinking maybe I had some type of cancer. I mean, you name it, I thought I had it. GERD is no joke. journey, a health restoration journey. Well, I'm here I'm going to schedule a colonoscopy. Then we're going to go next Monday and get a mammogram. Then I have to go to the gynecologist and get a pap. I have to go to a neurologist because I have a slight little brain tumor that I haven't had checked in about four, maybe five years. I got to go to the dentist and we're going to go get my heart checked. After that, therapy. 
So wait until I get home and show you the shitload of medications I've been taking. It's ridiculous. I haven't been taking them all at one time. That would be insane when you see them hey, all. Go ahead. What's your order? Oh, can I just get a small coffee with um, four creamers on the side? Hello, boy. That's it. Thank you. So yeah, taking them all at one time would be insane when you see everything that I've been taking. And some stuff I bought and I couldn't even take it because of other stuff that I had to end up taking. So I just have it at home. But I guess it's good to have in case, you know, people come and visit and, you know, my daughters might need some of the stuff. Um, like I have a little medicine cabinet. I just left Starbucks and the person behind, no, the person in front of me paid for my drink. Isn't that nice? I see that online all the time and that's never happened to me. So I paid for the person behind me. I've never done that before. So nice. It put me in such a great mood. I know some of you have been waiting for me to take off that wig. So I'm going to be doing my hair this weekend. I've had this in for about three weeks, I want to say. And uh, it still looks pretty good, I think. I'm going to be dyeing my hair. Then I'm going to be mayonnaising it, deep conditioning. And then I'm going to be attempting to put in some passion twist. And um, this whole process cost me, I didn't buy the dye today and I didn't buy the hair mayonnaise today or the cap, um, but I bought all this stuff today. And it cost me, $29.75 and $43.14. So about 70 bucks. Um, yeah, about 70 bucks. A little over $70. And um, yeah, I hear passion twists run in the hundreds, so nobody's getting my money. So I'm gonna be doing this myself. Um, but I will show you the end results. Now we're gonna start washing this gray out of our hair. So I put this double buttercream in my hair. Ignore all those drugs. That's a whole other video. And I'm not taking them all at once. So I put this double buttercream in my hair while it was still there. Stella's getting her groove back. Mother's Day. Guys, I almost had a heart attack. I just got out of the shower and I was going to the linen closet to get some cortisone cream because I have a little rash on my neck. I don't know what's going on. I think it's eczema, don't worry. I don't have anything. So I go to open my door to go to the linen closet and look at this. I must have been knocked out last night. My daughter's the best. Oh, flowers. This is my little work area where I've been working from home. Oh. Both of my daughters are the best. One's not here, but I know she contributed to this. shopping at Ikea. I bought a dresser, put it together all by myself, and I decided to turn my dining room into a bedroom. Okay, so I have all the drawers together. This is the part where I say, why? I have to put all these things on. I don't even know what these are, but. Okay, I'm an idiot. I'm not supposed to have six, I'm supposed to have eight which makes sense, wait, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12. Actually, I'm supposed to have 12, two, four, six, eight, 10. Actually, oh my God, wait, I'm so confused. Anyway, oh. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. This is the last part. We are 
in October now. I mean, we're in November, but it was just October. So we're kind of caught up. One video after this, and we are in real time. And I am doing Vlogmas. I'm a little intimidated, I'm not gonna lie, but I'm doing it. I am doing it. So. Thank you so much for watching. I love you. I appreciate you.